Hello and welcome to Wealthy Trades Daily Market Forecast. Today is March 20th, 2015. And uh, let's start by going into yesterday's price action. I got to tell you, if you're a trader that doesn't have a systematic approach rolling into every single day, then I can almost guarantee you found the last two, three weeks very, very difficult. And this week especially has been that, that example. We've had a big up day for uh, Monday and then a huge down day uh, Tuesday and then up on Wednesday and big down day yesterday. Not a huge down day yesterday, but a decent down day yesterday. And then what is today going to bring? And it's been reflected in the dashboard, which we'll go into in a minute. But how about that crazy crazy price action the S&P 500 and the Dow have really gotten beat up and uh, the Dow especially got beat up pretty pretty good yesterday but today I wanted to start with the spy uh, we are in an uptrend all right a technical uptrend we shifted in that technical uptrend I think it was uh, Monday of this week technically speaking okay so just on the spy and that's why most this week we were doing a pairs trade we were going long one sector or stock within a sector and then short uh, another sector uh, or stock within a sector. So and that's kind of what we're going to do today, too. So I'll, I'll get to that in a minute. But what I wanted to show you with the SPY is there's a couple areas that you could pay attention to, okay, and um, that offer profitable opportunities. Now, buying at the open isn't a bad thing to do in the S&P or in the SPY because it does hit the upside, all right? The expected high today is 210.72, okay? And it hits that level on a Friday in an uptrend. And it's very important to understand all these numbers represent what happens historically on a Friday, okay, because today's Friday, so on a Friday in the same environment. I don't care what happens on a Thursday or a Tuesday or whatever. I care about what happens in the SPY historically on the same day in the same market environment, and that's what these numbers are telling us. When the SPY is in an uptrend on a Friday, it hits the expected high, which today it's 210.72, 48.1% of the time. Okay, when it hits that, it has a tendency to close above that much more often than not. Here's the interesting thing, though. It closes above that at a very high rate when it when it hits that because, again, overall it hits it 48% of the time, and overall it closes above that 30.8% of the time. That means when it hits it, 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 it normally closes above it like 60, 65% of the time, right? Well, why does it lose money? When it hits that level historically, why does it lose money? Here's the reason why. Obviously, over uh, on Fridays, historically, there's been huge volatility. So even though when it hits this level, it has a tendency that 210.72, it has a tendency, more often than not, it has a tendency of closing above that level. The historical volatility around that level is astronomical. It's huge. So therefore, if you do go long today, all right, make sure you have targets in place. I would target 210.72. That would be my target, and I'd look to get out and take my profits and be done for the day. The expected low is 208.38. It doesn't hit that all that, all that often, and when it does, it has a tendency. It's about a coin flip. Um, it does make money trading at that level, but I got to tell you, I probably wouldn't take that trade. I, I think the only trade that I would take, uh, just looking at the spy, would be long the spy, target 210.72 with the stop at 208.38. That's kind of what I do. Maybe look to see how it's reacting around those levels because technically speaking, there's a, there's a decent uh, buying pressure within there. But, you know, just, just be nimble, all right? And that's the reason why you need to understand Wealthy Trades dashboard. You need to understand what's going on because crazy markets like we're in, where we're up, we're down, we're up, we're down, you need to have a systematic approach. And yesterday, um, yesterday, if you remember, we, we had conflicting information. We were in a downtrend, all right, yesterday. And the quality wasn't that good. So we said, okay, let's do a pairs trade. And what we did is we wanted to go short and in Green Mountain Coffee. Okay. And uh, and so this was a good short. It opened at uh, 122.91 and it closed at 122.37. Uh, it was down to a low of 121.01 at, at uh, about 9.30 in the morning. This was down about 1%, and then CMS was up about a half a percent. So this was, so we did a pairs trade, short GMCR, which was a good trade, and then long CMS. And long CMS, it opened at 35.29. It hit a high of about 35.68. And this was about at the same time that GMCR hit its low. So at one time, that trade was doing extremely extremely well and we're going to do a similar trade 
uh, today. I did want to talk about GLD. I am a big fan of GLD today. If I'm just looking to kind of take a, uh, a directional bet in something, um, GLD is in a technical uptrend. All right, let's look at the levels to win chart. It is in a technical uptrend. Um, so I am looking to be a buyer today. And um, I, I do think it's sitting at uh, a, a decent level where it could get some, uh, could kind of get a breakout. It's got a gap that it needs to fill. If you can see that right in here, um, back on uh, what is that March, uh, March fifth, it's got a gap up to about uh, 115. Um, I'm not saying that's get, that's going to happen today, but if it does start to break out. And I think this is gonna uh, this is gonna be a play that uh, I'm gonna just go long right at the open. If it does start to break out, it could make a very strong attempt to fill some of that gap. So it's a nice trending day today. It it hits the upside 40.4% of the time. So more often than it hits the downside, the expected upside is 113.12. When it hits that level, more often than not, it closes above it because it closes above it ultimately 26.9% of the time, and it's profitable trading there. So it makes a profit trading at both levels, both the downside and the upside. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go long the GLD. I'm just going to hold it all day long, and I'm going to close it at the end of the day. That's kind of uh, my speculation play for the day. I do like it a lot. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go long the GLD, hold it all day long, close it at the end of the day. I think there's some technicals. It's a good trending stock for the day, and there's some technicals that could really make this thing push higher uh, for the day. All right, let's talk about the dashboard for today. And then uh, we'll recap kind of the weeklies too. Uh, but uh, we did, you, you, this is kind of maybe a little confusing to you. Yesterday we were in a downtrend. If you remember, we were in a downtrend. It was kind of a coin flip, right? It was like 52% of the stocks were moving down. And then we get a little, we get a sell off yesterday, yet we go into an uptrend. The reason why is because more of the stocks in like the XLF and the XLK, which is the, the, the technology sector, you got to remember the technology sector has 72 stocks. A lot of those stocks ended up going into an uptrend. So therefore, it shifted us into an uptrend. We've got 72.1% of the stocks in the S&P now moving in an uptrend. And I actually think that we're going to stay in this uptrend. I think we have the possibility to stay in this uptrend for a little while, maybe break to all-time highs in the market. But the quality of this uptrend isn't that great. Okay, so it's 45.9%. Uh, so therefore, we've got to look for a Paris trade. So what I'm going to do First and foremost is we're going to look at the best sector, which is the X, which is the healthcare sector. I'm going to move. I'm going to hit the plus uh, symbol next to that, and I'm going to move the healthcare sector itself into my portfolio. And I'm going to go down and move all the stocks in the healthcare sector in my portfolio, and I'm going to find the best opportunity, the best long opportunity in the healthcare sector. Okay, and then we're going to pair that with the best short opportunity in the XLB, the material sector, in a minute. But let's pare this down. Remember, um, what I look for first and foremost after I put all the stocks that are the best uh, in, in my portfolio is I look to make sure my first filtering tool is it's got to make money on both, uh, pr both sides, on the trend side and counter trend side for the levels to win profit. What that means is when it hits the, historically, when it hits this level, it has a tendency of closing higher in the direction of the trend. When it hits this level, it has a tendency of closing higher in the direction of the trend. So I want to see that. If I don't see a profit, I'm going to eliminate it. So I'm going to go through this fairly quickly. A second here. And so HCA, as you can see, it loses money there. So I'm going to eliminate that one. And XLV itself loses money. I, I usually keep the sector, but for today, I think we're going to have plenty of opportunity. So I'm going to actually eliminate it. All right, so I just pared that down. I'm going to keep GLD because that's the one I'm going to go long and stay in all day long. The next thing I do is I, I want to look to see um, the HPP, how often it hits it, and then how often it closes above it. I want to see it closing above it more than 50% of the time that it hits it. So this, in this case, it would have to be it hits it 55% of the time and only closes above it 25% of the time. So that means that this would have to be closer to about uh, 28 So just because of that, I'm going to eliminate MYL. Uh, here's a good example. Closes above it 32.7% of the time. It hits it 63.5% of the time. Therefore, it's more than 50%. I'm going to keep that one. Striker. Uh, going to keep that one. Keep that one. L-O-Y. This is, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to eliminate this one. It closes above it. 
uh, 26.9 hits at 55. It's less than 50%. So therefore, I'm going to eliminate LOY. Keep that one. I'm going to eliminate ABBV. All right, so now we're paring it down. Now I'm going to look at the counter trend side, and what I want to see is I want to see that it hits it less than 50% of the time. So hits it 30, or it, it closes below it less than 50%. Hits it 32% of the time, closes below it 7.7% .7 of the time. That's what I want to see. Striker looks good. MNK looks good. And BCR looks good okay so now we've got it pared down to four stocks in all four of these stocks uh, we could potentially go into here's the next way that I'm gonna pare this down okay so I'm gonna find the best stock what I want to see is I want to see the counter trend and I'm, I'm gonna make a special video just for this strategy but I want to see the counter trend level I want to see that level higher this price this because we're in an uptrend I want the counter trend price to be higher than yesterday's low because if you think about this, all right, so yesterday's low is going to provide a psychological area of support for this trade to work out. Okay, so if we see yesterday's low was 167.42, well, the expected low today is 168.96. So if it starts to sell off, yesterday's low is going to be a psychological level of support for us. So that's what I want to see. So this one meets my requirements okay good I'm just gonna use I'm just gonna go through this really quick just to see if there's any that I can eliminate yesterday's low today's expected low okay well this is one I can I can eliminate right away because yesterday's low or today's expected low is lower than yesterday's low so therefore I'm gonna eliminate M and K striker yesterday's low today's expected low I can keep that one UNS Yesterday's low, today's expected low. So these are the three. All right, so those are the three. Now the easiest way to pare it down when I have th those three, they all meet the requirements. They're all profitable on both sides. It closes above the H. When it hits the HPP, it closes above that more than 50% of the time. When it hits the downside HPP, it closes uh, above. Uh, it, it has a tendency to bounce and rally. The expected low, we're in an uptrend, so the expected low is above today is, is above the low yesterday. So it's all good so which one do I pick I you base it I, I narrow this down and I pick the one that has the highest trend side hit rate so UNS has a trend side hit rate of 63.5 and I can just see that right here HPP 63.5 55.8 61.5 so I am going to choose UNH as my stock within the XLV so that is my long stock we're gonna now pair that with the short stock all right, we're going to look at the XLB because the XLB is the worst sector, okay? It's in a downtrend, and it's got the highest quality score in a downtrend. So I'm going to move this in all the stocks in there. I'm going to use the same filtering tool that I used in the XLV in the XLB, okay? All right. This is why you got to watch every day. This will all, all start to make sense if you do watch every day. The so first thing I'm doing, if you remember... I need to eliminate anything that doesn't make money on both sides, right? So there we go. MOS. I'm going to eliminate. Let me go through this kind of quick. All right. There's one I can eliminate. EMN. XLB itself I can eliminate. AA I can eliminate. BY. IFF I think I can keep. I think I already looked at that one. Yep. IP. Yep. Okay. So I can keep all those. All right. So the next step is I got to make sure. Okay. Trend side. I want less than 50% and more than 50%. Okay. So that's good. More than 50%, less than 50%. Keep that one. More than 50%, less than 50%, keep that one. More than 50. Whoop, less than 50, nope, I can eliminate IP. Uh, more than 50, less than 50. Uh, yeah, it's right on 50, so I can keep that one technically. Uh, more than 50, nope, so I can eliminate AVY. Okay, so now... What we know about these ones is they're profitable on both sides. 
it, it when it hits the level, it closes above it more than 50% of the time. When it hits the the de uh, the upside level, it closes below. You know, so that's good. Here's what we're gonna do: the counter trend level. I want to see the counter trend level lower than yesterday's high. Okay, and I can't all we can't always get this, but let's let's look at IFF. Here's yet the expected high. We're in a downtrend, so the expected high today is 119.73. The high yesterday was 120.08. That's perfect. That's what I want to see. Okay, great. So that one meets all the requirements. Expected high today, 140.52. High yesterday, 142.43. That one doesn't, see? Doesn't meet the requirements, so I can eliminate that one. All right. Expected high today, 52.04. High yesterday, 52.01. That one doesn't. So that one made it real easy. All right, so here we go. We are going to go short IFF at the open. All right, short IFF at the open. And long UHS at the open. So we're long the best stock in the healthcare sector at the open. And we're short the the worst stock, or technically the best stock to short in the material sector at the open. So short IFF and long UHS at the open. Hold all day long. I'm also going to do a speculation trade along the GLD uh, today. And I'm going to hold that. I'm going to go along with the open and hold it all day long. Uh, for the week, we were doing something very similar. Uh, for the week, you should be long the XLU, short the XLE. I'll actually recap that over the weekend. I'm going to be doing a video uh, on on uh, updating the monthly and the, and the weekly uh, positions. But uh, for now, we'll see how this all plays out today. But long XLU, the utility sector, short the XLE. And then uh, for the month, we're just long the XLV, which is doing excellent. And I'll go more into, de into depth uh, on those over the weekend to tell you, uh, kind of do a pare down and what stocks you could have looked at in the XLU in, in the XLE for the week and what stocks you could have looked at uh, in the XLV for this month to put the odds even further in your favor. So that is that for today. We're keeping it, uh, it's fairly simple. I'm just going long GLD at the open, holding all day long. I'm going to go long UHS at the open, hold it all day long. And I'm going to go short IFF at the open, hold it all day long, close all the positions at the end of the day. On top of that, we've got our weekly positions, which is long XLU, short XLE, and our monthly positions XLV. I thank you for your time, and uh, I'll put an updated uh, video over the weekend and on Monday morning. Um, have a great weekend. If you have any questions, you can email us at info at wealthytrades.com. Have a great weekend.